Isn't this the school hallway? But now it's all distorted and creepy. This really is the school, huh? The layout here looks kind of familiar. If the school was this spacious in reality, we could get in a good workout just moving around. Ah, uh, no thanks. If you need some space, there's always the great outdoors. So this is where you all started exploring the tower. If only Shadow showed up during class. Then I'd have a legit reason to skip. Could you please stop thinking nonsense and focus on the upcoming battle? Interesting. This area still bears some resemblance to the school. I still can't believe this is a school. Same. Sometimes it slips my mind, too. Can we slow down for a sec? Hey, don't leave me behind! What's up, Yucatan? You tired already? It seems as if both the appearance and ambience of Tartarus differ depending on the floor. Yep, and the layout changes every single time, too. It's a real pain in the neck. There are various shadows here as well. That's why we need your support. Korochan seems to be saying he can go even higher. I guess not all of them are totally weak, but they still don't stand a chance against me. You can still win against a strong opponent if you play your cards right. Don't forget the basics. Never would have guessed I'd wind up here again. It really is harder to hit a moving target. There's no time to concentrate on your aim. But you're doing well. Because of your daily practice, I'm sure. There was a time when even these shadows gave us trouble. This layout is similar to that of the school. I wonder where your classrooms are located. This area looks like the school. Are your classrooms somewhere around here? You gotta run, fight, and climb stairs. No, I'm actually pretty fit, huh? Nothing here makes sense. Whatever happens, don't overdo it. I wonder. Maybe we're this strong because of the power of our personas. Or maybe not. It's harder to predict the enemy's next move in the dark. But I've gotten the hang of it now. Ooh, is that your survival instinct kicking in? Man, there's something else. Oh, the way the shadows wriggle and squirm is so gross. I know, right? It's like they were ripped right out of a nightmare. Be careful when turning around corners. You might end up face to face with a shadow. Man, I'm parched. I'm gonna go ahead and say there are no vending machines here, huh? Looks like we'll have to bring our own drinks. Even if there were, why on earth would I buy a drink in a shady place like this? Don't worry. At this height, I'm still getting clear readings from all of you. I'll try my best not to get in anyone's way during a fight. Come on, little dude, loosen up. You've got me. Your ever-reliable senpai on your side. Don't be afraid to ask for help whenever you need it. We're a team, after all. Hey, have you ever wondered who's been setting up treasure chests here? I don't know, but it's probably not the shadows, huh? All right, let's keep moving. Every few floors, there's some kind of gatekeeper. And they're always stronger and nastier than the last. Well, seems like after we beat them once, it's adios forever. So we just gotta come out on top. Looks like this area won't present much of a challenge for us. Damn pissants. They're all going down. Oh, he's so freaking intense. Like some kind of lone soldier. The hero's gotta have a sword, yeah? Check out these mad skills. The fundamentals of fighting shadows are similar to those of boxing. <laughs> I wonder how Korochan feels about the smell here in Tartarus. Man. I don't know why, but it's a lot harder to speak up when it's this quiet. There's valuable experience in fighting weaker enemies as well. The teleporters are really convenient. I wonder how they work. I can clear out any shadows in this area. Just give me the command. I can clear out the shadows in this area. Just say the word. Good to know, Aichan. But no worries. I can handle things here. <laughs> That's reassuring to hear. Still... Don't let your guard down, even if they aren't much of a threat. <gasps> what the heck? I thought I saw a shadow, but it's just Junpei. Hold up. Are you saying I look like one? The shadows just keep coming one after another. This truly is their nest. I don't feel tired yet. Let's keep exploring. Oh, come on. The same kind of floor again? Doesn't that mean... Yeah, it means we can't let our guard down. Keep your guard up and proceed with caution. You shouldn't have any trouble on this floor, but please be careful regardless. Right. You never know what'll happen. Roger that. 
I will stay alert. It's so quiet. You can hear our footsteps echo. Hey, do you hear another pair of footsteps? Psych! It'd be great if we could go to Tartarus regularly. Nothing beats getting actual combat experience. We ain't got much time, right? Then we better get a move on. Sometimes the enemies gang up and fight together, right? Do you think they get along? We can't afford to be careless, but I doubt you'll have any trouble in this area. The mission I was given is to eliminate shadows. My mission is to eliminate shadows. I don't think we have to go after the ones that run away. We'd just be fighting this whole time if we did. Make sure you leave some for me, though. I have no problems walking onto a battlefield. It gets me really psyched up. A battlefield? I mean, I guess you could say we're kinda at war. <sighs> you do understand this isn't a game, right? Let's see. You're on the 19th floor. That's nearly the height of a skyscraper. Good thing we have teleporters. We never get this far if we had to climb up from the bottom every time. Fortunately, those teleporters allow us to save both time and energy. <coughs> Korochan, are you getting hungry? <sighs> no matter how many shadows we beat, there's always more coming our way. If any shadows stand in our way, they're going down. I'll be compiling a report of everything we observe on this expedition. I'll help too. Hopefully, we learn something from all of this. Don't forget to include our battle data, too. Information is a powerful weapon. <sighs> Looks like we can take a breather. We're making good progress. The other night, I woke up screaming, PERSONA, in my sleep. Please try not to do that in class or something. It'd be a hassle if people started asking questions. I think I'm starting to get the hang of fighting. I'll do even better next time. I'm all warmed up and ready to go. They can come at me anytime. As confident as ever. But I guess I'd be too if I were as strong as you. Now, let us proceed to even higher floors. Okay, let's aim for even higher floors. If you're having any trouble, please come back, okay? This place has a totally different vibe. What? A face? It's certainly unsettling, but all we can do is press on. It looks like all of you have gotten used to fighting with your personas now. Oh yeah, didn't even break a sweat. After all, I am the ace of the team, right? Yeah, the second years can hold their own too. They're adapting way better than I expected. You know, the faces on the wall look kind of familiar. Kind of like... me. What a bizarre sight. And yet, impressive in a way. <sighs> this place gives me the damn creeps. The faces on the wall are seriously creepy. They're not actually watching us, are they? Is this a rock, or is it actually, like, living and breathing? I ain't got a clue. Watch your step. Wouldn't want to trip over a stray rock on the ground. It seems like those large faces are agitating him. Don't worry, Korochan. You're okay. Is it me, or are the enemies getting stronger? Well, either way, we're not gonna lose. Damn. These faces are seriously gross. The interior designer must be real sick in the head. It's dark here, so please watch your step. You guys have a knack for this. Maybe you should give martial arts a try. I understand that this labyrinth changes every time we come here, but it's still vexing. It's so creepy here. Just like a nightmare. Crap. My bladder's about to burst. <laughs> what? You should have gone to the restroom before we left. Really now? Be careful not to let it distract you. It's so dark. If only we had a flashlight. Oh, but I guess it wouldn't work during the dark hour. All these floors look the same. Try not to get lost. Always make sure you reserve some of your strength, just to be safe. Yeah, if we go too hard, we'll be running on empty in no time. I am still fully operational, awaiting orders. I can keep going, awaiting your orders. That's some incredible fortitude. Make sure to watch your health as you proceed. This limestone cave thingy is actually kind of pretty. We've come quite a ways up. Don't you want to just take a little peek out the window? Don't know how far we'll have to go, but we got a long road ahead of us. Even if we're able to head upstairs, we should try to take out as many enemies as we can. Huh? Wouldn't it be better to avoid unnecessary conflict? Yeah, that's a tough call. Might have missed some loot, too. 
Sometimes I feel bad being the only one in a safe spot, and all I can do is provide support. Without your help, we wouldn't be this far along in our exploration. Be more confident in yourself. What are you talking about? Having you there is the best way to help you help us. <laughs> He's sniffing the floor. Does that mean the shadows mark their territory? <sighs> hey! Did you hear something just now? Not, not that I'm scared or anything. Shadows are getting even stronger, huh? Well, not that they're any match for me. Honestly speaking, the operation to save Yamagishi was a real gamble. Hey, can we take a break? I'm getting tired of the same old view. That's fine, but keep your guard up in case of an enemy ambush. I know how you feel, but the scenery probably won't change anytime soon. <laughs> I'm not pulling any punches, not even against a weaker opponent. That's just how I roll. There's no way to know what'll happen, so we should probably pace ourselves, right? I feel like I'm gaining more muscle mass. I don't really want visible abs. Huh? Is that bad? <sighs> I kind of wish I had to find abs. You won't build a six-pack that easily. A three-month training regimen would be ideal. Don't lose focus. Just one mistake, and it could cost you your life. Yeah, no kidding. Our enemies just keep popping out of the woodwork. I guess they're as desperate as us. <laughs> Easier said than done. Staying alert all the time is really exhausting. Sometimes we run into some pretty tough enemies, but they spice things up every now and then. Please take care not to get lost. I am not equipped with a navigation system. Please try not to get lost. I don't have a navigational system installed. Huh. That's kind of weird. You don't come with a GPS or something. <sighs> Why do they keep getting in our way? They really don't want to let us through that badly? With every battle, I can feel myself growing stronger. Without teleporters, it'd be even more difficult to explore this place. Whoa! What the hell? Why is the floor so dang bumpy here? It's a miracle Yamagishi was able to survive for as long as she did, all by herself. You know, this place reminds me of a movie I saw before. Um, what was it called again? I don't want to know. It was probably a horror movie anyway. The bad guy was probably one terrifying dude, but in the end, we'll save the day. Right? I think I've finally gotten used to seeing these faces everywhere. Wait, did it just look at us? I hope you guys can pick up something from watching me fight. I can hold my own in a fight pretty damn well, don't you think? I always knew I had talent. About those treasure chests, as we've been calling them, it's up to you whether or not we open them. You sure found a couple of oddballs while I was gone. Could you elaborate? To whom do you refer to as an oddball? You know, I think I'm getting pretty good at fighting. It's important to know when to call it quits. Especially in a longer fight. Ah, we can keep going. Right, dude? <laughs> Koro-chan doesn't seem to be afraid of the enemies around here. Recently during archery practice, I see the target as a shadow sometimes. <laughs> you gotta work on the brain, huh? Oh uh, Wait, this ain't a job, though. Must be pretty hard to decide the starting lineup now that there's more of us. Well, I'd say I'm a solid pick, so... Where do you get your confidence? There are enemies that are a bad matchup for you, too. That's his call. Just know that I'm always ready to go. Sometimes, when crossing through Tartarus, an indescribable fear overwhelms me. Huh. So even you have things you're afraid of, Kirija-senpai? I feel that way all the time. But I guess I kinda got used to it by now. Who on Earth designed those faces on the walls? Uh, I think the more important question is who built this crazy tower in the first place. Maybe the shadows. Actually, I can't see them doing that. Hmm. By any chance, do you recognize any of the large faces in this area? Hmm. By any chance, do you happen to know any of the large faces around here? Uh, wouldn't it be even freakier if I did? Are you watching your health and stamina? Remember not to push yourself too hard. <sighs> Now that our team has grown, maybe it's time for me to take it easy. <laughs> Just kidding. Unfortunately, the more we advance, the stronger the enemies get. We can't let our guard down. Mitsuru's persona was always more geared for combat. Don't be afraid to have her in the front lines. <laughs> you don't need to go easy on me. 
I'll try not to disappoint. I have to be hard on myself so people won't think I've lost my edge. They just keep coming. Ain't there one with more bite? Did you know that there's an observation deck somewhere out there that's also on the 45th floor? Oh, um, which observation deck? And where exactly is somewhere out there? You left out the most important part. It seems like the total area can vary by floor. Smaller floor would sure make things easier for us. Here's hoping the next floors will be smaller. That way, we'll progress even faster. Those creepy faces are really unsettling. Not that I'm afraid of them or anything. I think I've finally gotten used to the atmosphere here. If I'd been tossed in here uninformed and unarmed, I would have found myself in trouble too. Thank you again for saving me back then. I'm glad I didn't give up. Yamagishi is a significant boon to our team. Information is essential while exploring. I'm just glad to be of assistance. I won't let you down. I'm picking up some signals of stronger shadows. I'll let you know when I pinpoint their location. Thanks. That'll buy us some time to prepare ourselves. That's what we like to hear, Fuka. Give us all the deeds, girl! Fuka's great, but I also miss Kirijo senpai navigating. It kind of felt like... getting stepped on? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but did you want to be punished? As expected, my abilities are much better suited for the front lines. <laughs> Kuro-chan is sticking out his tongue. Is he feeling hot? Hey, Fuka, could you sing us a song every once in a while? Like, something to get us pumped up. Huh? Like, right now? B but I only know the school anthem. <sighs> Classic Supe. Fuka, there's no need to listen to him. Considering how quiet and spacious this place is, it might be a decent training spot. If it weren't so unsettling. There are so many twists and turns here. Be careful you don't get ambushed by any shadows. Please inform me if you are tired. I will carry you to the next floor. Please let me know if you ever get tired. I can carry you. I'm starting to get some mixed feelings about that. Don't worry. I'm perfectly capable of walking on my own. Who knew you could buy weapons from the police station? But I guess that's a good thing for us. Dude, Fuka's power is so sick. Do you think it could help me find a book I lost in my room? I'm sure you can find it yourself if you look hard enough. Before you ask Yamagishi for help, maybe you should clean up your room first. Tartarus, also known as the Deep Abyss of the Underworld. What secrets lie here, nobody knows. How fitting, because I'm going to make this place a living hell for the shadows. There's no end to these shadows. That just means I'll always have a sparring partner. You've probably already noticed this, but those shadows wandering around will always appear. We'll just have to pick and choose our battles, though sometimes that's not always an option. Let's pace ourselves so we don't get burnt out, especially at a critical moment. I ain't one for playing it safe. If there's an opening, I'm going all in. <laughs> I see you're the same as always, but don't let me hold you back. Kirijo senpai that weapon of yours is so you! What exactly do you mean by that? I suppose I ought to take it as a compliment. Huh, really? I figured she'd use a whip or something. If we could build our endurance, we wouldn't lose as much stamina while we're on the move. Looks like we still have a long road ahead of us. Even though the floors all look the same, let's try not to run ourselves ragged. This outfit is TheBomb.com! I'm a sucker for some nice, sleek threads. It's unfortunate the only way through all these narrow passages and staircases is on foot. I think my visual field has expanded a little. Maybe I've gotten used to this. Exploring Tartarus is very physically demanding. It could be an ideal workout for those lacking exercise. Exploring Tartarus is very physically demanding. It's a perfect workout for anyone lacking exercise. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. I wonder if there's a way to count how many calories we burn. Hmm, makes sense. Even one fight is enough to work up a good sweat. Doesn't it hurt to hit shadows with your bare fists, Sonata-senpai? Well, that won't be an issue if you're dedicated to training. Then the only one hurting is your opponent. Honestly, it's more impressive that Sonata-san ain't afraid of touching him. Junpei, Junpei, he's our man! If he can't do it, no one can! Now give me some double fives! Uh, no. Yay! Uh, oh, um, it looks dark over there, so please watch your step. Oh, that's annoying. It'll be hard to spot shadows like this. Sheesh, 
Ain't this supposed to be a school? Where are all the ceiling lights? Why don't we go to karaoke sometime? It'd be a fun way to relieve stress. Oh, yeah, count me in. Don't let my beautiful singing voice shock you, all right? I've heard that the word karaoke is derived from the Japanese word for empty and an English loan word for orchestra. I tried measuring my strength at a boxing machine the other day, but it aired out when I punched it. Hmm, I wonder why. Always be mindful of your health. You never know when we'll encounter a powerful foe. You all doing all right? This is a piece of cake for me. Well, that's reassuring. Just don't let the rug get pulled out from under you. Are you seriously bragging? Don't come crying to us if you dig yourself a hole. I wish I could use my power to check a few more floors ahead. <laughs> You're doing fine. Just do what you can and leave the rest to us. You're doing more than enough. We're covering so much more ground than we had previously. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear Kurochan bark, I feel energized. I got in plenty of running while I was recuperating. I won't be caught off guard like that again. You're lucky your injuries weren't worse. Try to be more careful next time. I'm reminded of how you can only hone your fighting instincts through actual experience. I'm still a little scared of the faces on the walls. It seems like they could start moving any time now. Don't say that. You've got me feeling paranoid. How does this place change shape every time we enter? It's so bizarre. Yeah, seriously. You think maybe there's a bunch of creepy crawlies moving stuff around? I shouldn't say this out loud, but does anyone else feel super refreshed after dozing off in class? Oh yeah, same! I have to get some shut-eye during class, so that I'm raring to go at night, you know? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Everyone, be sure to take care of yourselves. I know it's probably a little too late to ask this, but how come the terrain changes every time we enter? Maybe they just don't want us going any further? I'm not sure, but... It kind of feels as if this place is alive, doesn't it? Rather than using the teleporters, why don't we try running up from the bottom? Oh god, did my pants rip? Is my ass showing? Could someone take a look, please? Who'd want to see that? Uh, I'll help you check when you get back, so please just try to deal with it for now. Those gatekeepers. They're getting stronger. We'll have to be even more vigilant. The shadows wandering around here seem to have varying levels of strength. So we could be facing a featherweight or a total powerhouse. If we're not careful, it could cost us our lives. I sure hope we only run into a bunch of wimps. The 60th floor, huh? Not like there's a point to keeping track, though. <sighs> Should we head back or press on a little more? As leader, the decision is yours. On the nights we don't come out here, should I go jogging during the dark hour instead? Seriously? I'd rather just hit the hay, like a normal person. What does everyone else do? Since there's no electricity, I'd probably just go to bed. I am ready to eliminate shadows at any time. Standing by for your okay. I can eliminate shadows at any time. Just give me the okay. Uh, could you, like, not look at me when you say that? It's freaky. Something about this place makes me lose track of time. I never thought it possible to wield multiple personas. It's an extraordinary power. Yeah, must be pretty rare. Don't you think it's kind of unfair you're the only one? But thanks to you, we have a lot of diverse battle tactics. Focus. Check the floor layout and the location of the shadows. There's more to building muscle than working out. You need a proper diet and rest, too. According to some mythologies, once you enter Tartarus, you'll never be able to escape. Huh. But we made it out just fine. Ain't that something? That won't happen to us. I'm certain we're fully capable of solving this mystery. Everyone saying that it'd be heaven on Earth to live with Yucatan and Kirijo-senpai have no idea what it's really like. Hey, what are you trying to say here? What's it really like, huh? Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san are both really aggressive... Uh, strong! I'm glad I've broken in these boots. They're comfortable to walk in while exploring. I predict we are nearly finished exploring this area. Are we nearly done exploring this area? Is it my imagination, or do some shadows seem smaller than others? When you're stronger than your opponent, it's normal for them to appear smaller to you. On rainy days, I always have to warm up first. Otherwise, my old injuries start to ache. I've heard of that before. I wonder if it's because of a drop in barometric pressure. 
Wow, you sounded pretty cool just now. Like someone in a manga. This place, I believe it violates several building codes and standards. I think this place violates some building codes and standards. Yeah, totally. Check out how whack those stairs are. Wait, that's what bothers you? Hmm. Now that you've pointed it out, I think you're right. I'm on a diet right now, but I've been eating way too much lately. I need to get some exercise in. I feel like this is the nth time you've said that. Being well-equipped is a factor of combat effectiveness. Make sure to check your gear regularly. We can buy equipment at the police station, right? And there's a chance of finding some here, too. Even when facing an unknown enemy, staying calm ensures the quickest path to victory. It's important to have a good weapon, but you also need to consider protective gear. It looks like the layout of this floor won't change, regardless of what day it is. It's similar to the entrance, then. To think there'd be this type of floor here and there. If only every floor was like this. Climbing is hard enough as it is. Are you telling me to do my best? Okay, I will. Whenever we return from Tartarus, do you ever have trouble falling asleep despite feeling exhausted? Not me. I'm dead asleep the moment my head hits the pillow. Whenever that happens, brew a cup of herbal tea. It may help relieve your anxiety. It has been some time since my last battle, but there are no issues to report. Let's press forward. You can leave all the fighting to me. The scenery changed. Those shadows lurking around might be different too. The decor has completely changed. Now then, what are we going to find? The atmosphere here has changed drastically. Please be careful, everyone. You probably don't need to hear this, but don't be stupid. You never know what'll happen here. Okay, um, you're actually worried about us, aren't you? Uh, you got it, Senpai. Thanks for looking out for us. Just when I thought we didn't have to deal with the creepy faces anymore, it gets weirder. I bet the scenery here serves as a distraction. Well, it won't work. This place is incredible. It's like a three-dimensional labyrinth. This is where you come in. Sorry if you feel pressured, but we'll be relying on your support. It's so hard to tell where to go. My head's killing me. Nothing shall escape my watch. Not a shadow, not even a tiny insect. Okay, then if I find any bugs in my room, I'll give you a shout, I guess. Wow, I guess is so focused. I'll try to keep up with her. I have to study hard, too. It'd be so embarrassing if I get low grades. It's like this world has trapped us in a trompe d'oeil painting. Like it's one big illusion. Yeah, no kidding. My head hurts when I try looking from far away. I wonder if it's possible to teleport outside of Tartarus. Make sure to get some sleep. Your body needs time to recover. You should listen to Akihiko. He has a point. This time. Time flies by so fast, though, and before you know it, it's gotten super late. Do you think this layout has some sort of purpose? I have no idea. No use thinking about it, though. You know what? I think my room's all messed up like this, too. By using an evoker to envision death, one may summon a persona. What a fascinating concept. Have you gotten used to dorm life? Took me a while to adjust, too. I think I've settled in. It's certainly more relaxing to be at the dorm than at my parents' house. Oh? Yucatan, you're actually a sensitive soul, huh? <laughs> uh, please stop glaring at me. <sighs> Moving around so much on this hard floor wears out my shoes so quickly. Well, isn't that because you're always running? Even outside of Tartarus, Sonata san Huh? This place is just as mystifying as a Trump Loyer painting. Korochan seems to be curious, too. It's kind of scary when things are going too well. It's all right if you want to loosen up, but try not to be complacent. Does the labyrinth keep changing for some purpose? During dark hour... We will show no mercy and kick some shadow ass. I learned that haiku from Junpei-san. There he goes again, teaching I guess more useless stuff. All right, here's another one. Freaking Tartarus. A convenience store would be really nice right now. There's no surefire way to win a fight. It depends on practice and experience. Apparently, the drugstore has sales on certain days. That's a good time to buy in bulk. Kind of surprised you're so practical. 
I guess you're not so different from us after all. If we ever got lost here, I'm afraid we'd never find our way out. I'm sure you won't let that happen. You got this, girl? Oh, God. Now I can't stop thinking about it. I think about how I should fight in my head, but it's a lot harder to pull off in practice. Once you've experienced the thrill of taking on a powerful opponent, you'll never forget it. I have to get stronger, too. I have to be a better support for the team. In the interest of everyone's safety, I will initiate contact with the enemy. Not so fast. How about we compete and see who can engage the enemy first? While I commend your bravery, I'm not one to have someone fight my own battles. What even is this so-called potential? Like, it's only ever useful here. I suppose we don't need that motorcycle with the communication equipment anymore. That bike sure is cool, though. Maybe I should get a license. Now that those giant faces on the walls are gone, it's not as scary, is it? Yeah, I guess so. But I kind of miss them. Yeah, just a little bit. Y yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> I wonder if shadows are also capable of feeling emotions. Who knows? But even if they did feel something, I doubt I could ever be friends with them. Uh, didn't we just pass this area earlier? It's so confusing. It's getting on my nerves. There's a lot going on, even in my personal life. But right now, exploring the tower is my top priority. Leave the front lines to me. I will take down our enemies with a volley fire. Sorry, but it won't be that easy. I'll be taking my fair share of the action. You know, for heroes who are trying to save the world, what we do is actually pretty lame. I don't know what you were imagining, but this is plenty chaotic for me. We can't exactly show any of this to the public. Besides, we're the only ones who can do our job. There's still so much we don't know about the shadows. Let's hope we don't encounter an abnormal one. Yeah, we've got no clue what they're thinking. Uh, assuming they think at all. You're currently on the 80th floor. No building in this country has that many floors. I don't like the idea that this tower has broken some kind of record. I bet the city lights look fantastic from way up here. Oh, wait. There's no working electricity. I came here to help. Not to pal around with you guys. Just do your own thing. Well, you heard him. Don't take it personally. He's always been like that. Not tired. I'm not a whip. I can handle something like this easy. Don't burn yourself out. We all need to take a breather sometimes, too. S-E-E-S. The matching armbands help unify us as a team. S-E-E-S. These matching armbands help us feel unified as a team. Sometimes it might be difficult to hit a shadow's weakness. When that happens, you'll need a backup plan. Even if there's no obvious weakness to exploit, certain attacks may still work well. Against a group of enemies, you can take them out one by one, or target the weakest link first. We're certainly making progress. But I'm sure this is far from over. I've been in good form at archery practice lately. Maybe because I have experience fighting now? My sword skills got a mad upgrade, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Actually, I think you did get a lot better. It's a unique sword style, certainly, but it truly reflects your personality. Fighting in the ring is fine, but what really gets my blood pumping is being here. I knew it. The higher we go, the stronger the shadows get. Yeah, makes sense. I guess we just have to get stronger, too. Just how much tougher can they get? <laughs> now I'm itching for a good fight. Huh? You want to go even higher? Ooh, man, I'm beat. I stayed up late playing games last night. I left you in charge of our supplies, and you've done a fine job. Thanks for all you've done. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I am equipped with several firearms. For example, I can destroy my target with a single finger. Bang. Ugh! I've been hit! Wait, hold up! Watch where you point that thing, Aichan! I can only imagine how intricate your design must be. I wish I could take a look one day. The Dark Hour is just full of unsolved mysteries, isn't it? Research is underway. But there's no doubt that the answer we seek is within Tartarus. That's why we're here, right? Junpei, ace detective, will definitely crack this case. If you feel like the last fight was tough, that's a sign you need to slow down and build your strength. 
You never know where the shadows may be lurking. Stay on your guard. Roger that. We shall be on the lookout for enemy ambushes. Arrows are a single-use item, so I end up spending a surprising amount of money on them. If we're avoiding enemies going forward, take care they don't ambush us from behind. <sighs> shadows are so annoying. Why can't they just leave us alone? Everyone, please monitor your energy levels, or else you'll be out like a light, as they say. Everyone, please pay close attention to your energy levels, or else you'll be out like a light. You know, I, John, you have a very, uh, unique way of talking. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! I'm in top form today! No, wait, I'm always in top form! The atmosphere here is so different compared to the beginning. What is everyone's nighttime routine after we return from exploring Tartarus? I have a protein drink and do some stretches. You need to take proper care of your muscles post-workout. I usually take a shower and head straight to bed. Staying up late is bad for your skin, you know. I've heard that during the Sengoku era, many warlords use spears too. The spear is said to be one of the earliest weapons in human history. It is truly a refined weapon. I forgot my gym uniform the other day, so I borrowed Fuka's. She's a lifesaver. I'm glad to be of help. Was the size okay? Well, next time you forget, I can lend you mine. What? You don't need it? <laughs> At this pace, I can run just about anywhere. How high up are we going tonight? The 88th floor. It sounds like we've made a lot of progress, but I get the feeling we still have a long way to go. I still got plenty of fight left in me. Just say the word and I'll raise hell. I was thinking, the teachers at our school are, uh, really something else, aren't they? Cooling down after a workout is a great way to speed up your recovery. I will fight at full power on the front lines. You won't be disappointed. Yes, your prowess is second to none. I look forward to seeing you in action. <coughs> <laughs> You're full of energy, aren't you? <coughs> Korochan is sniffing around. I wonder if he's wary about something in this area. Ah, oh, did you find us some buried treasure or something? I'd say my skills have leveled up since spring, but they're still nowhere good enough. You're such a smart boy, Korochan. You follow all our instructions to the letter, huh? Ugh, I'm so sweaty. I can't wait to take a shower and change out of these clothes. I don't detect any shadows here. Senpai's family must be crazy influential if they were able to develop Igis. It gets pretty boring just waiting downstairs. Too bad we can't play any video games either. The more our team grows, the harder it gets to decide who's on the front lines. Having been selected for the advance team, I will do my utmost to contribute to this mission. <coughs> you know, I never imagined Korochan would end up joining our team. <coughs> pretty sure nobody saw it coming. But hey, the more the merrier, right? I guess Korochan doesn't need a leash or anything. Aichan is cute, strong, and a robot? That's way overkill! As the leader, it's up to you to figure out where our new teammates shine best. Agreed. I have high hopes for you. Exploration is all about planning, execution, and adaptation. It's similar to working a job or doing schoolwork. Our energy reserves are not easily replenished. Please manage our resources accordingly. Yeah, good point. We can't exactly restock our supplies in Tartarus. You can look after yourself. Just focus on what you gotta do. You're such a smart boy, aren't you, Koromaru? You can even wield a weapon on your own. We've gotten more manpower now, but I can't afford to take it easy. I'm keeping track of enemy weaknesses, so feel free to ask me anything anytime. I think that floor is too slippery for Korochan. Hey, you get around, don't you? You should totally introduce me to a cute girl one day. If you want to get the most protein out of a meal, a beef bowl from Umi Ushi is the way to go. Though the decor has yet to change, we have reached the 96th floor. Let us press forward. Though our surroundings look the same as ever, we're currently on the 96th floor. Let's keep it up. Is everyone getting enough sleep? Oh, I'm fine, though. Just asking. <laughs> That's good to hear. Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? This may sound hypocritical, considering we asked you to join us, but don't push yourself too hard. Even if we get stronger, so do our enemies. In the end, fighting is just as hard. Apparently, there's an antique shop in Polonia Mall. I can't place why, but 
The shopkeeper looks familiar. I have a plentiful reserve of ammunition. You may rest assured, I will not run out of firepower. I have plenty of ammunition in reserve, so I won't be running out of bullets anytime soon. Even though some shadows look similar, they have totally different fighting styles and strengths. I'm gonna eat some instant ramen when we get back. The question is, what flavor? Show you, salt, curry? Oh, stop already. Now I'm getting hungry. Don't swing your sword around at random. You have to get into a rhythm. It's so nice to have a team this big. I feel more secure with a lot of people here on standby. Yeah, I can imagine how lonely it gets at the entrance. And how scary it'd be if a shadow wandered in. <laughs> can you hang on for a bit longer, Korochan? Don't worry, I can still fight. All this walking's just killing my feet. <laughs> Trust me, I wasn't worried in the first place. I'm the one trying to keep up with you. <laughs> if you say so. I better not hear you whining about how exhausted you are later on. So we've reached the 99th floor. <laughs> the number is hardly significant, but we've certainly come a long way. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first one to reach the next floor! Were I able to travel at light speed, I could reach the top instantly. Unfortunately, that'd be difficult to implement with our current technology. I'd rather not take the easy way out. I'll get to the top on my own two feet. We finally reached the 100th floor. I wonder how much further we have to go. Oh yeah! We finally hit the big leagues! But I guess this ain't the right time to party. We've reached the 100th floor. I guess that counts as some sort of milestone. There's no building this tall in reality, is there? The exact height of this structure is unknown, but there are no matches found in my database. Even if there was, I'd never go check it out. They only remind me of this place. Ta-da! We have arrived at the 100th floor. If only this were the end. Unfortunately, it looks like we have more ground to cover. Let's stay focused. Da -da -da -da! Guess we had a major milestone, huh? 101st floor! Look alive, folks! Let's treat this like a fresh start! Are we almost there? Or only halfway? Or are we nowhere close? Well, guess we'll find out. Just wondering, how many different types of shadows do you think there are? We've seen a bunch already. It'd be a pain to count them all. There are probably a few categories of shadows, but I couldn't tell you how many there are in total. Looks like you're still full of energy, but don't exhaust yourself, okay? Ooh, seems like a good time for a break. Huh? Weren't you really motivated just now? I suppose, since we're using both body and mind in battle, it's only natural to feel fatigued. There appears to be no end to the shadows. All I can do is eliminate them on sight. It's as if there's no end to the shadows. All I can do is eliminate them on sight. My bangs are getting a little long. Gotta schedule a hair appointment. Huh? Really? Looks the same to me. I want to try growing out my hair, but I'm worried about it getting in my face. We've got a long climb ahead of us. Normally, we'd need to bulk up for this expedition. No need to tell me twice. I've been training and eating plenty of protein. Well, in that case, I say we get sushi. What, no bueno? The shadows are getting stronger. We can't allow ourselves to be defeated. Well, we're getting stronger too. I mean, the heroes always win, right? That's just how it is. It would be for the best if we could overcome the obstacles in our path with ease. I need to get even stronger. It'd be nice if we could go on another trip, don't you think? How about going abroad next time? Man, it'd be nice if there was, like, some kind of switch you could flip to get motivated. I'm surprised Kurosawa-san has weapons stocked for Aegis, too. That's impressive. The guy has one scary mug, but he's a real big help, huh? What you... Excuse me? Kurochan looks like he's feeling hot. I hear dogs don't have many sweat glands. Don't mistake recklessness for bravery. Best keep that in mind. What a surprise. I never thought I'd hear Akihiko say that himself. Hear that? Things are starting to look dicey. You can always run away. We should avoid exhausting our bodies. When necessary, let's take the time to cool down. Cooling down, huh? Well, <laughs> now I'm craving some ice cream. I guess has a point. Don't act recklessly out there, okay? You gotta use your head in a fight. Always think one step ahead of your opponent. Did you get that, Junpei? 
This labyrinth is beyond reason. Is there even some kind of logic behind it? Being able to carry multiple personas. I never thought it possible. It's pretty unbelievable. I definitely can't see myself with more than one. And not once has he let that power go to his head. That's our leader. Always calm, ever reliable. Don't worry. I'm watching over you from here. You can proceed at your own pace. Somehow, I always end up choosing things that are pink over any other color. It has to be red for me. A brilliant red always helps me get fired up. Pink really suits you though, Yukari-chan. I'd rather not rely only on my persona in a fight. I need to work on my close combat. Shadows sometimes hide in areas that are hard to see, so keep an eye out for surprise attacks. Nothing wrong with getting stronger. If you're gonna train, I'll join you. Oh crap, I forgot to do my homework! What I have to remember now? I'd like to ask you all to get enough sleep, but I understand this situation doesn't allow for it. You don't need to worry about me. I know what I'm getting myself into. It's not like we're going every single day, so it's fine. I think I actually sleep better when I'm tired. Apparently, all of you have something called a blood type. I wonder what my type would be. Well, I don't know about your type, I chan but you're definitely my type. <laughs> Get it? Huh? Um, good question. I guess it might depend on the kind of oil you use. Sometimes it's important to fake it till you make it, at least to get into the right mindset. You know, there's a downside to wearing gloves and brass knuckles. I can't scratch an itch on my hands. Even if the enemy looks weak, we can't let our guard down. They say a cornered animal is the most dangerous. We can't have them take us by surprise. <sighs> Korochan can remain calm even inside Tartarus. Oh, I forgot that I have to record a TV show to watch later. We've made so much progress compared to the time I first set foot in here. It feels like a dream. Aside from the height, if this tower is our school, does that mean it can only be as wide as the campus? I can't say for sure. But unfortunately, I don't think it works that way. I doubt it. Just look at this place. It's ridiculous. Neither logic nor reason apply here. I wonder if I should install some new hardware... Does anyone have any requests? Um, uh, maybe a ray gun that shoots laser beams or... Uh, never mind. Doesn't the water pressure in the dorm showers get pretty weak sometimes? Yeah, yeah, and it'll randomly get super hot, too. Please report any problem with the facilities to me. I'll let the person in charge know. Tartarus has to end somewhere, right? Yeah, we'll reach the top and it'll all be over. Someday? Maybe? Hopefully? Well, there's the top of the tower. But who knows if we'll even get there. We just gotta crush anything standing in our way. And move on with our lives. Damn. What a badass. Is he seriously just a year older than us? <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad you're on our side. You have plenty of opportunities to let loose. Oh, right. I ran out of protein powder. <sighs> I guess I'll go stock up tomorrow. Whenever I take a break, I find myself missing the aroma of black tea. You always look so elegant and sophisticated drinking tea, Kirijo-senpai. I'm pretty big on Mad Bull. Nothing beats cracking one open after soaking in the tub. The concept of sleep is so strange to me. Do you have dreams when you sleep? Well, I think we see all kinds of stuff. But we don't really remember any of it when we wake up. Yep, and mine, I'm a superhero who's a hit with the ladies. But I always wake up when it gets good. I think I'm slowly but surely getting used to this place. Well, aren't you in a good mood, Koro-chan? Are you happy to be here with everyone? It'd be pretty fun to have a training camp as part of our club activities, yeah? If you want your body to look toned, don't skimp on your diet. You gotta build muscle. I do hear that a lot, but it's so much work. I just noticed the temperature and air pressure inside Tartarus aren't too different from reality. Perhaps that's one way to lure people inside. Well, at least we ain't breathing in poison gas or something. Even though I know it's a shadow, it's hard to confront them if they look like a person. It just hit me. We don't know what shadows eat. Do they even get hungry? I have no idea, so let's just be careful we don't end up as their fodder. 
There is no data on whether or not they have an appetite as humans do. It's hard to get a read on the layout here. Keep your guard up. The same scenery seems to go on forever and ever. We better be careful not to get lost. In times like this, I'm real glad we have Fuka with us. <laughs> I wonder if Koro-chan's sense of smell is more reliable than his sight. I got your back. Just focus on being the leader. I'd love to try a bunch of different weapons, but there's a limit to how much money I can spend. This is a pretty good lineup you've got here. Nice work. If our work here has impacted anyone's personal or school life, I'll do what I can to help. <coughs> oh, um, what's wrong, Koro-chan? What's wrong, Koromaru? Are you calling for Fuka-san? I'll never forget this feeling. Don't your bangs get in the way? You should just shave it all off, like me. Your hairstyle says a lot about your personality, right? It'd be a bold move to change it up. If your hair were as short as Iori's, it'd dry more quickly, too. Okay, we've gone past the checkpoint. What's next? Perhaps you could adjust your lineup to target the enemy's weaknesses on the current floor. My persona excels in dealing physical damage to the enemy. It's interesting how everyone has such unique, distinct personas, isn't it? I need to get a better grasp of my power. Only an idiot tries to act tough. Better to be smart and know when to quit. Nobody would ever believe that the school turns into this sort of place. Yeah. In the beginning, I had no clue what was happening. With a teleporter, the next time we explore, we can start from here. <sighs> It'd suck if we had to climb up the tower without them. Wow, this area sort of looks like... some golden ruins? <laughs> Feels like we're in a movie. You know, the ones like, find the hidden treasure or something. How crazy rich do you have to be to build something like this? I can't afford to screw up. Not when he's watching. Don't be fooled by the display of opulence. This is still a twisted and terrible place. You think so? Well, I guess there are shadows lurking around here. It seems like we've reached the end of the block. The scenery here looks so different. This place appears so otherworldly and somewhat distorted. It is a truly mysterious place. This place appears so otherworldly and somewhat distorted. What a mysterious place. Don't go easy on me just because I'm a kid. I can hold my own in a fight. You're really mature for your age. Unlike someone else we know. Huh? It is surprising, isn't it? I'm sure nobody expected the floor to look so different. Oh, even I could tell that was a bark of surprise just now. Ain't this place fancy. Doesn't change the fact it's still tacky, though. You're always out on the front lines. Don't you get tired? All right, let's keep moving. My fists are aching for some action. You look real fired up, senpai. Did something good happen? You're always so energetic, Sonata-senpai. Your daily workout routine must be real intense. The flora here is thriving despite the lack of sunlight. That just goes to show how everything here is fake. If everything really is an illusion, then we just have to tear it all down. What on earth has the power to create a place like this? <coughs> Don't drink from the waterfall, okay? We can't be sure that it's safe. <laughs> What? You want to go for a swim? Better not do that here, but at home, all right? If you ever find yourself backed in a corner, just holler. I'll be your pinch hitter. Though this is a heavy burden to bear, you are the best suited for this role. Easy for you to say. It's a demanding job, you know. Everything here is so shiny. It's making me a little disoriented. I am starting to get used to life at school. Next, I would like to try eating lunch during class. <sighs> Where on earth did you get that sort of idea? But I guess you can't really eat lunch. Maybe you could get an oil change instead. This place kind of looks like some sort of ruins. I hope there aren't any hidden traps here. You're doing good. Just don't get too gung-ho and start running ahead. It must be hard to be the leader, so I'll do everything I can to help you out. We might encounter some new enemies again, so let's look lively when the time comes. Don't forget to hydrate. If you're slowing down, then you didn't drink enough water. Yeah, the rest of the archery team tells me the same thing, to drink water regularly. I guess can handle herself in combat, but do try and look after her at school. I do not think I will have an issue adapting, but if any problems arise, I will come to you. Oh yeah, wasn't there a movie where the main characters go treasure hunting in a place like this? Yep, 
and there's usually a bunch of nasty traps all over the place. It'd be nice if we could find some kind of hidden treasure, even though that's not why we're here. A dark hour, huh? I don't think anyone in my class would believe me if I told them about it. After midnight, you're fast asleep inside a coffin. Yeah, that's a real hard sell. I don't think I'll lose, but it's probably not a good thing to be overconfident, right? Between the advanced team and the reserves, our ranks have grown considerably. Yeah, to think we used to be a team of three newbies. It's great to see that the dorm has gotten even livelier too. Why do we have to wear school uniforms? Everyone looks like they come from the same series. For various reasons. You could say they maintain discipline and symbolize learning. Well, a lot of people like to jazz up school uniforms by adding a little flair, like me. <laughs> Is it too hot there? Maybe we should trim Korochan's fur. I'm trash at support, but if something needs a beating, then I'm your man. Hey, how do you feel about a team with just me, Yukatan, Kirijo Senpai, and Aichan? It sounds fairly balanced, but don't forget about me. Is there an ulterior motive, or is it just my imagination? Oh, my hand wraps are getting loose. Gotta fix that. Don't tell me. All of this is made of real gold? The school regulations do not say that robots cannot enroll, so I should not have problems attending class. <laughs> the thought probably never even crossed their minds. Hmm? Koro-chan, I know it must be hot, but please try to bear with your protective gear, okay? You sure you eaten properly? You're pretty scrappy for someone so scrawny. Shinji's right. Don't forget to maintain a balanced diet. It doesn't matter how strong the enemy is. I don't plan on losing. That's the spirit. Just don't forget you can lean on your friends, too. <laughs> Having Koro-chan around always cheers me up. How high is this damn tower? Do you ever get nervous entering another classroom? Everyone's eyes are all on you. Once you get used to the attention, you'll hardly notice anyone staring. You know, I'm actually a bit of a trendsetter myself. Mm, clothes are nice. But if I had to choose, I prefer a beautiful physique instead. You do seem to enjoy accessorizing, Jinpei-kun. How about we take a break and go out somewhere together one day? So, oh, I know exactly where this is going. You're gonna make us run the whole way, aren't you? Um, I guess as long as it's nothing too intense. The higher we go, the tougher the shadows get. But we've been getting even stronger as well. There are some plants in flowing water here, but they don't seem to be real. Could there be some hidden meaning in the appearance of this floor? The enemies are getting stronger the more we progress. I need to fight even harder. Some situations may call for a tactical retreat as well, but I'll defer to your lead. I got a little carried away shopping for clothes this month. My wallet is really hurting. Well, I'm always hurting for cash. The Bank of Junpei is currently accepting donations. You should wear a hat every once in a while. It's the first step to upgrading your wardrobe. I can't see Junpei-kun without his trademark hat. An elegant hat is a must for full formal wear. I saw a shopping channel on TV the other day, but do you think it sells anything catering to our needs? Animals sometimes stare intently at nothing, don't they? What are you looking at, Koromaru? There's nothing there, right? Right? Even some small fry will maim you if they see an opening. Stay alert. Aragaki is right. Don't forget that we're risking our lives being here. When night falls, I always find myself looking up at the moon to see what phase it's in. Some enemies aren't a good matchup for me. I'll do what I can, but if you want me to tag out, I get it. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we were forced to solve puzzles in this place. That sounds kind of fun. I wonder if I'd be able to figure them out. Like in a video game? I'm good to go. Let's move on. Seems like you're fitting in perfectly at school, Aichan. That is reassuring to hear. My stealth mission has been a success. Oh no. I think the library book I borrowed was due today. Man, don't scare me like that. I forget to return movies to the rental place all the time. You seem really busy, Senpai. I'd better return mine soon, too. You know, this place kind of resembles an ancient ruin. Why would a place like this be inside of Tartarus? So goddamn bright everywhere you look. They had to fire the interior decorator. 
Looks like Kuro-chan's trying to give us strength. We still have a long way to go, but let's keep at it. That bark sure had a lot of spirit. We won't be outdone here. <sighs> They're everywhere. I really want a new phone. Like, I'd apply to a part-time job, but I just don't have the time. My classmates are all studying for college entrance exams, but this is higher priority. Though a mechanical body is more durable than most, I must avoid overheating. I suppose there's a price to pay for all that power, but what really matters is how we use it. I sure hope I'm not stepping on anyone's toes. There has been no problem. I would say you are a splendid team player. I wonder what the light source for this area is. It's not sunlight, is it? I don't know, but it's as bright as day here even though it's the dark hour right now. Weird, right? I don't care what it is. It's just way too damn bright here. I can't wait till all of this is over. Both the dark hour and the fighting. I feel the same way. That's why I'd like for you to lend us your strength for a little longer. Getting stronger is fine and all, but don't lean too much on your power. You know, I have other interests than building muscle. Cardio and reflex training are just as important. This probably isn't the right time to bring this up, but I wonder if there's any treasure buried here. Treasure? It'd be really cool if we found some! Just holler if you see any. When humans get hurt, they can't replace broken parts like a machine can. Please be careful. Right. Problematic injuries take a long time to heal. Avoiding them altogether takes some skill. You've gotten so much better at handling your weapon, Kuro-chan. If I could work part-time, being a cafe waitress or something would be nice. You'd be great at it, Yukari-chan. I think I'd like to be a florist. I'd rather work at a ramen joint, because then I could eat all the ramen I want. Maybe I should get a motorcycle license. I'd love to ride like the wind with Kurijo senpai Bikes are wonderful, but please prioritize your education. We've come so far and still have a clear line of communication. Yamagishi is truly incredible. Yeah, that'll let us focus on the battle, too. Keep up the good work. The ability to use many different personas. I can't get over how unreal that is. No kidding. You're seriously one of a kind, leader. We're counting on you. No matter how much Kurochan fights, his fur stays so clean and pretty. Even during battle, Koromaru's white coat has not once lost its shine. Man, I really don't want to stress over exams or job hunting. Besides, we gotta take care of business. We have so many new teammates now. A veteran like me has to set a good example for them. Come to think of it, isn't it oddly convenient that there are teleporters already set up here? Maybe the shadows use them too? They might be relics of the research that was conducted here, so I wouldn't necessarily call it fortunate. We're already here, so I guess I might as well tag along if you're gonna train. It'd be nice if we had a chance to regroup after a difficult battle. This might be stating the obvious, but you really can't beat some enemies with sheer force alone. There are factors like affinities and all that jazz, but that's where our leader really shines. <laughs> Did Kuro-chan just ask us if we're tired? I get the feeling he's concerned. What? Are you worried about us? Oh, it's real sweet of you, Koromaru. There's a mahjong parlor in the back alley of the mall. Anyone been? Hmm. Maybe playing mahjong could help develop a gambler's foresight. That sounds like a very grown-up thing to do. Maybe I should learn how to play one day. Try to keep your health and stamina up, just in case we run into trouble. I saw a shopping program on TV the other day. Do you suppose they sell heavy weapons as well? I'm our f, f for it. Uh, never mind. Oh, I just realized I forgot something at school. What are the chances it'd be lying around here? I know we practically forced you to become the leader. But I have to say, you've done good. Yes, I agree. We really were fortunate that you joined us. You really think so? I don't know, I feel like he spaces out a lot. Please don't drink the flowing water there. It's unsanitary and dangerous. Who the hell would... Actually, never mind. I know one dumbass who might. Aw, we can't? But it looks so cool and refreshing. What does the moon have to do with the shadows? We got a muscle head, a non-combatant, and a dog. 
You got your work cut out for you, leader. You sure do. Uh, you didn't forget about me, did you? There's a rumor going around about Miss Toriyumi. Apparently she plays a lot of games. Huh, I never would have guessed. I wonder what kind of game she plays. Do we keep going or turn back? It's a tough call. This is the 139th floor. I think that's about 550 meters high. Damn, that's tall. Not that it means anything here. Whoa, so we're pretty high up, huh? Sometimes Koro-chan gives us a meaningful gaze, like he's trying to tell us something. They say the eyes speak louder than words ever could. Perhaps there's meaning behind that gaze. I wonder if there are people who travel from far away just to go to Polonia Mall. The 140th floor. I never thought Tartarus would be the tallest building in this country. Would you all like to hear a funny joke? What is the difference between Amada-san and Koromaru-san? Amada-kun wears shorts and Koromaru pants. <sighs> Wait, I guess... Did Akutsuki-san rub off on you? Oh, I know! Amada wears shorts and Koromaru pants! <laughs> nice one, Aichan! I didn't realize we were already so high up. Sure wasn't as rowdy back when it was just us three. Well, a lot has changed. For Akihiko and me and... For you, as well. Well, yeah, but... I think I prefer it this way. Don't you? I haven't been getting enough shut-eye. I'm gonna doze off in class again. What's new? I'm the one getting tired from firing shots at you. How about taking a nap? Even just ten minutes can make you feel refreshed. I'm sure even a member of the track team would find it difficult to run all the way up here. Yeah, this is the perfect place for us to train. There was ever a stair climbing contest. You think one of us would come out on top? This place kind of looks like an ornate tomb for a mummy. A mummy? There's no way we're gonna run into one here, right? At least the mummy's already dead. Doubt it'd come after us. Why do people willingly wait in a long queue to eat? There are faster ways to acquire nutrition. Hmm. I guess eating something that tastes good makes them happy. Eating isn't just about consuming nutrients. It's also about enjoying the taste, I think. Huh. Amada-kun, are you feeling tired? Don't force yourself to keep up, okay? Huh? The same scenery seems to stretch forever on this path, but I'm here to support everyone. Why don't we rent a DVD and have ourselves a movie night? That'd be nice. I want to watch a superhero... Uh, never mind. All right, then you choose the movie. And we can't forget the popcorn. Yo, I was top dog in class after a test. Well, in a dream I had the other night. I'm glad it was just a dream. Because you just rub it in our faces if it actually happened. <laughs> I hope your dream comes true. Maybe I'll head somewhere over the weekend to train. Sounds like it'll be a long trip. I bet it'd be cool to train alone in the mountains. I feel nothing but overwhelming disgust at the sight of all this glitter and gold. Yeah, no kidding. I was pretty excited at first, but now it just... It hurts my eyes, man. Even though it looks so lavish and extravagant here, at the same time, it feels so empty. I am interested in partaking in an extracurricular activity. Do you have any recommendations? Do you want to join the archery team? I think you'd look good wearing a Hakama, I guess. I would suggest the boxing team, but uh, that might be a bad idea considering your mechanical body. <sighs> Kuro-chan seems to be on high alert. I'll keep an eye out, too. No matter what happens, always expect the unexpected. I have to do it. <laughs> oh. Kuro-chan seems to be very calm. He looks so dignified right now. Ormaro's one friendly dog, ain't he? I bet he could become king of the jungle or something. There's no more turning back. This marks a fresh start for me. Do you really think we'll be able to get rid of Tartarus? We have to. We're the only ones who can. If we all work together, I know we can. I'm aware that we're on a very dangerous mission. That's why I'll do whatever I can to protect you. I won't run. Not anymore. I'll stand my ground and fight with you all. If that's the choice you've made, I have no objections. I'm sure he'd say the same thing too. I left a magazine in the lounge and the next thing I know it's gone. Did someone take it? I think it was Junpei-kun. 
He said that the model on the front cover was cute. Oh, my bad. The cover girl was just so cute. I took it with me and looked through the whole thing. When you're washing your hair, do you sometimes feel someone staring at your back? Don't you start with that believe it or don't shtick, or I'm gonna snap. Please be on the lookout for any nearby shadows. Understood. We'll remain vigilant. After all, our enemies are getting stronger as well. Man, the shadows just keep coming, and Tartarus just keeps going and going. Hmm. Come to think of it, Aragaki-senpai was usually the one feeding Koro-chan. Aragaki-san used to take him out for walks rather often. Where does the water from a waterfall flow? I guess there's no end to a person's curiosity. Alrighty, let's go kick some ass! Yeah, there's no way we can give up here! I never would have expected a nest of shadows to look like this. Dying is not the same as how a machine like me would break down, is it? <sighs> I'm sorry about the other day. I didn't mean to make everyone worried and, um, thank you. All that matters is that you came back safe and sound. You left without permission, but I'll let it slide. I don't know why, but I kind of like how the bell sounds in an empty classroom after school. Yeah, I feel you. It has this kind of sad vibe, doesn't it? My mind is set now. I'm just going to do whatever I can. I wonder, is the Reaper usually hiding somewhere, biding its time? <coughs> it feels like he just told me to hang in there. Koro-chan, you're so strong. Who's next? It doesn't matter what I'm up against. I'm gonna come out on top. If only cars were operational here. It would have made exploring so much easier. Yeah, I used to think the same thing. But then I realized there's just too many stairs. Even if we could drive around here, the car would probably get stuck somewhere. Let us continue moving upwards. We cannot afford to idle here. Let's keep going up. There's no time to waste. Have I gotten just a little bit stronger? By the looks of it, I'd say so, yeah. You got nothing on me, though. The pharmacy at Polonia Mall has some really unique things for sale, huh? <sighs> it's about time for our regularly scheduled full moon and tests, huh? I'm only average when it comes to swordplay, so I hadn't expected my skills to serve me well here. Swordplay? Oh, you mean fencing! Uh, pretty sure you're way above average. Now that you mention it, I sure am glad I took archery seriously. Looking at how this tower was built, it's as if someone designed it this way. I see your point. If there is such a designer, I'd like to ask them why this place exists. Yeah, no way it looks like this by chance. But honestly, I have no clue. The sight of flowing water reminds me of Yakushima. Oh boy, do I remember the day we met you. For more reasons than one. Would you say it's childish to like hero shows? Not that I do, just wondering is all. Right now, all I can do is empty my head and swing my fists at the opponent. It's kind of the same thing in archery. You'll never hit your target if you think too much about it. In other words, the brain dead strategy, or BS. <laughs> Whenever I look at Koro-chan, I feel like I can do anything and everything. It's really encouraging to see how Koromaru is always so cheerful. Hey, have you ever been to a club? Isn't it kind of scary to walk into one? Actually, could you use the Kirijo group's power to make some magic happen with our grades? Your time would be better spent on studying than negotiating with me. I wonder if this scenery somehow correlates with the heavy shadow presence here. I saw a celebrity at Polonia Mall. He was the executive producer of a TV shopping program that airs on Sundays. Seriously? What's his name again? President Tanaka? Actually, ain't he kind of sleazy? The only TV show I watch on Sundays is Feather Ma uh, Never mind. Just when am I going to grow taller? Maybe you should try drinking more milk. But I guess you've heard that before. Just eat and sleep, and it'll happen one way or another. I'm a grown boy too, you know. I'd like to take a romantic bike ride to school with someone someday. But I guess we'd get into trouble for sharing one bike. They say you can't fight on an empty stomach. But hunger can also sharpen your senses. Oh, I get it. Like how you can smell instant ramen while it's cooking. Wait, that's not what you meant? Try to open as many chests as you can. I'm sure there will be all kinds of useful items inside. You got it. Time to go treasure hunting. 
I wonder who's been placing them here. Assuming it's on purpose. Lately, I feel like I can understand Koromaru's feelings every now and then. <laughs> the odor here seems to be bothering Korochan. I wonder what smells. You know, whenever I plan on studying, it just so happens to be a day we come out here. If El Dorado were ever real, perhaps it would look like this. El Dorado, the lost city of gold. Elder what now? Is that some kind of senior center? What connection do shadows have with the Arcana tarot cards? There's so much we don't know. We've been looking into that, but there's not much information to go on. Apparently, people at school think I'm a foreign exchange student. Bonjour! Yeah, figures. You don't really look like you're from anywhere around here. Good boy, Koro-chan! You're working so well with the rest of the team! I can't waste any more time here. Or he'll just laugh at me. You got that right. We're with you there, senpai. Yes, let's keep going. All the way to the top. Yeah, we know, boy, we know. We can't stop here. We've got to reach the top. Isn't it super annoying when adults say things like, Ugh, kids these days. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's heard stuff like that at least once in their lives. There are plenty of people our age who are well put together, so maybe they just want to sound mature. I've always wanted to experience life in a college dorm, but studying for the exam sucks. If alchemy existed, an entire city could look like this. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. It's so shiny here, it makes me uncomfortable. Uh, dude, the glare would be so bad when the sun's out, we'd all go blind or something. Since it's so bright here, will it be easier to spot shadows? Bring it, shadows! Come at me! As they say. <laughs> Were you watching some gangster show this time? That's the spirit. Anyone who wants a beating, come and get it. Bring it, shadows! Come at me! Did I sound very gangster? You say some really random stuff sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Don't ever change. That's the spirit. Anyone who wants a beating, come and get it. This is probably a dumb question, but Tartarus does have a top floor, right? Well, normally it should, but there's nothing normal about Tartarus in the first place. I want to say yes, but honestly, it's kind of scary we can't even say that with confidence. I've been wanting a new coat. So maybe I'll buy one and expense it as battle equipment. <laughs> Just kidding. Then can I get a new accessory? I need something that'll really highlight my rugged good looks. If I can push past my limits, I'm sure I'll find what I've been looking for. Damn, that sounded so cool. You're like the main character in a sports manga. If I don't get proper maintenance, my joints might start creaking. Machines are similar to living creatures in that regard. Both need attention and care. Do they just need to be oiled? Regular maintenance is certainly important, though. The best feeling in the world is to be young and in love, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into you? I've never heard anyone go tee-hee out loud before. <laughs> I can't relate, but I'm happy you're happy. The 158th floor. If we're truly that far along, I'd expect the air to be thinner here. Doesn't feel like it. What a shame. Low oxygen levels would have made this a good training spot. I'm getting kind of hungry. Uh, it's nothing. Don't mind me. Amada-kun, you're in the middle of a growth spurt, right? How about I cook something for you when we get home? Sounds like it's time for a midnight snack. All this moving around just makes you even more hungry. And they say that God only gives us trials we can overcome. Do you think that's really true? If our enemy changes tactics, then we gotta switch it up too. Think on your feet. We could take our time exploring if it weren't for the Reaper showing up. I am equipped with a thermal sensor that can monitor the temperature of solids, liquids, and gases. Hmm. Hot water counts, right? If you've got a timer, we can make ourselves some instant ramen. Korochan may be blessed by the gods of Naganaki Shrine. Whenever I visit the shrine with Koromaru, I feel as if the gods are protecting us. I need to get stronger to protect someone dear to me. One day you guys will understand how I feel. I guess Junpei kinda has a point, but the way he says it is so annoying. In that case, perhaps I can become stronger too. I saw one of those 2D fighting games the other day. The character's footwork was incredibly realistic. 
Ah, wanna play around? I ain't losing to anybody. Not even you, senpai. The decor here makes me wonder if this place is the manifestation of humanity's desires. Humanity desires a nest of shadows? How ironic. Of all things, it had to be a nest of shadows? Well, that's kind of unexpected. I just realized the shadows can only identify us by sight. If they don't notice us unless we're right in front of them, they're not as smart as we thought. If they could hear us or even sense our presence, we'd likely be surrounded at all times. I hear that humans do not come with an operations manual. Is that not inconvenient? It's not inconvenient at all. We humans simply make our own decisions. Can't say I ever thought of following a manual to make my own decisions. Humans don't have an operations manual. I'm sure that's why everyone's behavior is so unique. We make our own decisions, obviously. But it's easier said than done. Can't say I ever thought of following a manual to make my own decisions. I really like this armband. I like it a lot. It's kind of embarrassing to call it proof of our friendship, but I like it too. <coughs> Koro-chan looks really motivated. We can't wait to see your incredible feats. I wish I could win the lottery or something. I mean, all our hard work deserves a reward, you know? Why don't you make a wish at Naganaki Shrine? But I doubt it'll come true, since it's you. We have to fight together to achieve victory. Of course, that includes our reserves as well. Take care to conserve your strength for the return trip. Don't push yourself. Yeah, it's the absolute worst when you're ready to head back, but there's no teleporter close by. Good point. Sometimes there won't be a teleporter nearby when we decide to head back. Maybe I should get a haircut. My hair always gets all curly at the end. The tallest building in the world is 160-something floors, I think. And we're even higher up. I don't think we can compare the two, but it is pretty crazy when you put it that way. No matter the situation, a single mistake can cost you your life. Never let your guard down. If I ever have a dream, would I be able to save its contents to my memory banks? As far as I know, you don't have that sort of capability. <coughs> wow, sound echoes pretty loudly on that floor. It kind of spooked me. You can train at any time. All you need is some ankle and wrist weights as well as discipline. How much higher must we climb? <sighs> I can only hope there's an end. Um, it looks a little hot on that floor. How's everyone feeling? Uh, it does feel humid here. Maybe because of the flowing water. Or it could just be all in my head. It does feel kind of stuffy here. Or is it just my imagination? Wow. <gasps> Koro-chan's yawning! That's a rare sight. I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff. I'm just gonna keep climbing as far up as I can. It'd be easy to lose sight of a golden shadow here. Yeah, seriously. It's all glitter and shine here. Let us know if you spot one, though, okay? It's like camouflage, right? We'll just have to pay close attention. Fuka-san, are you familiar with machinery? Could you possibly tune my motor drive? Um, I don't think I should be making adjustments to your body, I guess. I'm not a qualified mechanic. Sometimes it's better to take action instead of overthinking, right? That's right. If you don't take action, you won't see results. If my hair gets even longer, I might have to tie it up. Or else it'll just get in the way. It's not all about building muscle. The end goal is to become stronger. You mean, we can't lose sight of our original goal. I'll keep that in mind. Is there an infinite number of shadows? Or are new ones constantly being created? It's bad either way! <laughs> it doesn't matter to me either way. <coughs> Looks like we have to stick it out for just a little bit longer. Hang in there! Do you believe in fortune-telling? Is it even accurate? I do find it interesting, but I really only want to believe in positive outcomes. If you push yourself here, you can definitely feel yourself grow stronger. I'm sure wearing sunglasses here would make it easier on your eyes. I don't have any on me, though. <laughs> Koro-chan is sniffing the floor. I wonder if a shadow was just here. Did you know some places stop airing ball games before they end? I wonder which regions do that. Will I take over the family business? I must consider this carefully. By the way, I am very adept at anaerobic exercise. 
I am quite confident I could win a contest. <laughs> Wanna have a go? If we're talking raw power, I won't go down that easily. Uh, ain't that pretty obvious? You're a robot, so you don't need oxygen. Leader, your instructions are always so accurate and helpful. Each floor layout changes every day, but it seems like the structure of the blocks remains the same. Oh, it seems like the floor layout here doesn't change. You can tell how Koromara-san is doing by checking how shiny his fur is. The shadows seem to be getting stronger. You be careful too, Koro-chan. The shadows are getting even more powerful. We need to get stronger too. With Koro-chan on our side, we have the strength of a hundred people. Or would it be a hundred dogs instead? Booyah! Level up! <laughs> that never gets old, does it? If you're not feeling well, go ahead and fall back. I can keep exploring. Stronger weapons are more expensive, but I suppose that's just how the world works. If buying them increases our odds of winning, then that's a price worth paying. What do you call these kind of flashy patterns again? Psychedelic? <laughs> when you see a round shape on the ground, it sure is tempting to jump right into the center. Just look at this area. It almost feels like we're hallucinating. There are so many colors on this floor, it's hurting my eyes. Maybe the shadows did it to mess with us. Actually, doesn't this bother them too? Seriously, these colors are so loud. They're driving me insane. I'll train as hard as I can for now, and if I never have to use that strength again, then so be it. I see. Then I'd be happy to be your training partner anytime. Yeah, you're right. It'd be for the best if nothing happens. Huh? This place really makes you dizzy. Koro-chan, are you doing okay? Something about the patterns here makes me uneasy. Well, so did the other floors. I ain't afraid of anything. You can just leave everything to me. The scenery in this area is unsettling. But maybe that's what they were going for. It feels like that eye can see right through us. It's just a pattern on the walls. Don't let it get to you. Stop! Don't bring up scary stuff like that! Do you think there's any meaning behind all of the different patterns? I apologize for the inconvenience. I can now fight without any obstructions. <laughs> I think Koro-chan's fascinated by the eyes on the wall. They look like they belong on a scarecrow. Apparently fish eyes are rich in nutrients that are essential for bodybuilding. Did the eye patterns on the wall remind you of that? It's hard to navigate and watch out for shadows in a place like this. Let's try to stay alert. If you're tired, you should take a break. I'll work hard for the both of us. That's very reassuring. I'll support you to the best of my ability, too. Haha, <laughs> look at you, little dude. I gotta step up my game, too. Hey, if we fall off this pathway, there's no way we'll survive, is there? Uh, this floor, uh... It ain't gonna crack and break on us out of the blue, right? Anyone know any songs with a fast tempo? I want something to listen to while working out. Oh, I can lend you a CD sometime. American Pop might be what you're looking for. I don't really know any intense songs. Would a karaoke song work? Oh, um, maybe if you squint, it'll help you see better. I already tried that. I almost tripped because I couldn't see where I was going. Is that their aim? To narrow our field of view? How underhanded. The school trip. It seems to be a highlight in the school curriculum for most students. It does indeed. Probably because they'll be able to make some lifelong memories then. Oh yeah, because you get to travel and spend time with girls. <laughs> the school trip. It seems to be an important event for most students. Yes, well, I've made some precious memories during the trip myself. Yep, I nearly died and went to heaven traveling with the girls. Literally. Koro-chan seems to be saying that he has to get even stronger. Is this what it's like to party hard at a club? I've actually never been to one before. Maybe it's just me, but I get the impression that the motif for each block in Tartarus is fear. Oh, this place definitely gives me the creeps. Who in the world would design something like this? It seems easy to lose visual on this floor, but I will not miss my target. It'd be easy to lose visual on this floor, but I won't miss my target. 
The one souvenir you absolutely have to get in Kyoto is their famous snack Yatsuhashi, right? Seems like we still have a ways to go. It's like there's no end in sight. You can gauge the distance by the spacing of the patterns on the floor. How convenient. I'm not sure if it's because of our surroundings, but I'm sensing some hostility. Please be careful. I wonder, does every shadow carry a different scent? What floor are we on now? I'm starting to forget what the lower levels were like. Sometimes you summon personas we've never seen before out of nowhere. This place seems like a hallucination. I wonder if someone actually thought of something like this. It seems everyone here has gone through various hardships and came out stronger. I wonder if Escapade looks like this at night. Now I feel like dancing. I should throw on some jams, get us grooving. The color saturation in this area is very high, which may cause some discomfort to the human eye. The color saturation in this area is very high, that may be hard on your eyes. I've heard that King Kakuji Temple can transform into a giant robot! But is it really true? A machine with the function and capability for a large-scale transformation. How intriguing. Given the existence of the Dark Hour in Tartarus, I wouldn't say it's impossible. It's like we're stuck in one hell of a trippy maze, where all the shadows are getting stronger. Building muscles is a lot like watering plants. If you don't do it regularly, they won't grow. Uh, I can't tell if that sounds real smart or real dumb. After making it this far, this place looks nothing like a school anymore. But, like, it hasn't looked that way for a good while now. This place is so visually distracting, but let's try and keep an eye out for shadows, too. <laughs> it's a little too late to ask this, but Koro-chan, are your paws okay? This flooring is kind of peculiar, so... You're amazing, Koromaru. No matter the place, you're always so agile. Would you say that we live in an urban city? Well, it's certainly not rural. Plus, it's pretty comfortable living here. Hmm, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell when you live there. It kind of feels like those giant eyes are looking right at us. It's just decoration though, right? <laughs> nah, be for real. They're just for, uh, scaring off birds. Like those shadows we saw. If things take a turn for the worse, then we could take the plunge and leave, right? Guess so. Looks like we still have a ways to go anyway. Every time we lose focus, Kurochan's bark snaps us to attention. It's like you're telling me to keep it together. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh yeah, remember that game I gave you? I hear it's shutting down or something. All these flashing colors make it hard to stay focused. A lot has happened, but don't worry. The Kirijo group will continue to support our activities. It appears we still have a long way to go. Shall we continue or head back? It looks like we still have a long way to go. Should we keep pushing forward or go back? If a dog can be a persona user, then maybe a cat could... Nah, no way that'd happen. Considering our circumstances, we can't dismiss it as an impossibility. No matter what they are, if they're willing to fight on our side, I'll welcome them with open arms. I've gotten used to fighting the strong ones that block our path, but just how many are there? Could the smells here be bothering him? Do you smell anything in that area? Do you think the air's gonna start to thin out the higher up we go? All of us are equal before the face of time. We should have known our place. Kirijo senpai shadows move so fast, you'd never guess from the way they look. Maybe they actually got a bunch of hidden legs. Ugh, great. Now that's seared into my brain. Ugh, that's just one of the many things that make them weird and creepy. Those patterns appear to be an optical illusion. I fear they may overwhelm you. Yeah, I'm starting to feel dizzy after staring at them for so long. All of these colors are making my eyes hurt. I'll try not to get separated from everyone. I always doze off in Mr. Edogawa's class. Maybe I should record his lectures for when I can't fall asleep. Aha! <laughs> I bet they'd be super effective. I'd be knocked out till morning. I'm sure these lights might drive some people insane, but that won't work on me. Those eyes aren't going to shoot laser beams or anything, are they? I have yet to detect any corresponding heat source for such a function. I kind of want to see that. But that'd put us in danger, so maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Koro-chan is looking out for us, too. Thank you, Koro-chan. 
You have to clean up your act to be a better person, but isn't it hard to be polished all the time? Don't you get kind of sad when you have to leave behind your old weapons? Yeah, I guess so. It's hard to decide between one you're used to and one that's new and stronger. Huh. Is this what it looks like inside a nightclub? Uh, kinda, I guess. Not that I know, honestly. Every time I come here, it feels as if I'm being watched. Um, you're not referring to me, are you? I've been counting the circular patterns on the walls just in case. Would this data be useful? Uh, yeah, no. I don't think so. I was trying to do that too, but my vision kept spinning and I got dizzy and lost count. Autumn leaves always fall so quickly. Oh, is that why people want to go see them? I guess it's the same for cherry blossoms. Hopefully we can go see them together one day. The human heart finds beauty in all that is transient. Isn't that mysterious? <coughs> Dog therapy must be really effective, considering how Korochan makes me feel. Are you watching your health and stamina? Remember not to push yourself too hard. I feel like you can get all your everyday essentials from Polonia Mall in the shopping district. Huh. You really do get stronger with more experience. I thought that was just in video games. This world is the picture of madness. Let's proceed through this area as quickly as possible. Would it be possible to use my spent bullet casings to leave a trail? Damn! That sounds badass! Oh, wait. The floor layout is always changing, though. All of you are going to be graduating next year, huh? Yeah, I don't think it's hit me yet. Oh, but Junpei might end up repeating the year. If we all go on a trip together, I bet the journey would be just as fun as the destination. Yeah, totally. We'd stuff our faces with snacks and play card games. It'd be a blast. The scenery here may be distracting, but at least the shadows aren't that different. The size of each floor really does vary from one another. Not that it's anything new. <sighs> You're doing well, Koro-chan. Good job keeping close to our leader. You're such a smart boy, Koromaru. You follow us around even without a leash. I'm the type of gamer who never wants to use items and just ends up hoarding them. The 191st floor. This tower's mass far exceeds that of the entire school. Though I suppose that's fairly obvious. It seems like this place gets even more bizarre the higher we go. The shadows are also getting stronger. That's proof we're closer to our goal. Right. Looking back, the lower floors seem normal in comparison. <laughs> Koro-chan seems really focused on the designs on the walls, doesn't he? During winter, the sound the arrow makes when it hits the target is so satisfying. Hmm. Maybe it's because of the temperature. The air feels cleaner and crisp during winter. If I smash through the walls and floor... Do you think I could make us a shortcut? Do you only have muscles in your brain? But you want to bring us down with this whole tower? I get the feeling he's not kidding. Senpai, please don't do it. Everything will become clear soon enough. All we can do now is press on. If I drink protein like Sonata-san, will it make me stronger? Not if you drink it alone. If you're interested, you can come to me for advice. To predict the enemy's next move, don't rely on sight alone. Use all your senses. It's fine to follow trends, but in the end, you should just wear what you actually like. Every time I start cleaning my room, it's all over when I find a manga to read. I wonder how much longer it'll take until we reach the top. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't get much sleep last night. Don't worry about it. We do come out here after midnight. <sighs> oh, crap. Now I'm sleepy. If I had Koromaro-san's sense of smell, then I could help detect enemy positions. Do you ever wake up early on days when you don't have any plans? Yep. I'll give up on sleeping in and try to get up, only to knock back out and end up running late. I feel that. But whenever I have archery practice in the morning, I can't bring myself to get up at all. <laughs> Despite his small size, Koro-chan is very powerful. I'm craving something sweet. Something with lots of calories. I wonder if I'd actually be into temples and shrines when I'm older. With all of these lights, the electric bill must be astounding. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> You're really on top of managing things, Yamagishi. Bet you it's more than the school's electric bill. Probably costs as much as Kirija Senpai's crib. I always take some time to maintain my weapons before bed, so they don't suddenly break in battle. Hitting the center of that eyeball-looking thing is worth a hundred points! You're not. I think... I've seen that pattern before. I just can't remember where. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, it kind of looks like the design on a ramen bowl! Should I undergo a large-scale update sometime in the future? You mean like what we do with our phones? <laughs> I think you're okay the way you are, Aichan. I wonder if there's a way to recover both our stamina and our concentration. Oh, that reminds me. I have to wash Koro-chan's clothes when we get home. You don't see many youngins in a baseball these days. Well, what's hip now? Soccer? Basketball? I gotta face off against another person once in a while, or else I might lose that competitive drive. I kind of feel sorry for anyone fighting you in your next match, Sanada-senpai. Senpai, you got, like, superhuman strength. Your next match will probably see you as a monster. That floor seems to be the halfway point of this block. <coughs> Koromaru is such a lovely name. I'm sure you love it too, don't you, Koro-chan? I remember the days when I was happy we had reached the 100th floor. I will fight at full power. I must, because that is my duty. We're counting on you, I guess. But don't forget, all of us are here for you too. We all feel the same way. Let's fight together, I guess. If I ever get some time to myself, I'd like to go on a journey to train and hone my skills. We've reached the 199th floor. I can't believe there's more than 200. Once upon a time, I thought we'd be done by the 30th floor. Yeah, those days are long gone. Were this a normal structure, we would be about 800 meters above ground. If such a structure existed. There are a lot of things I should be thinking about. Like the future. I was hoping the 200th floor would be the end goal. Of course, it's not that easy. The 200th floor. Hopefully we're at least halfway to the top now. Da-da-da-da! We've reached the 200th floor. ha <laughs> ha yeah! Wait, uh, so how many floors are left? Good job making it to the 200th floor, but there's still more up ahead. It's been getting chilly recently. Let's take care not to catch a cold. Yeah, stay warm and strengthen your immune system. The shadows keep getting stronger the further we go in. But I'm not worried. We've also grown. Honestly, I'm a little jealous that all of you have matching combat attire. But I guess you're also geared up just like us, right? You've got your very own armband too. The skirts seem really airy and flowy. Are they easier to move around in? When I think of everyone in the city getting apathy syndrome, it sends shivers down my spine. We should head back if you're tired. There's no point in pushing yourself until you collapse. The enemy attacks have gotten more intense. Maybe it's because we're past the 200th floor. Do you think the shadows would go stir-crazy from being cooped up in here for too long? Well, they're probably used to it by now. Actually, haven't they always been pretty crazy? They've been crazy this whole time, so I don't think it really matters. Even if we don't understand your words, your feelings still come through to us. If the teleporters suddenly go kaput, even Junpei, ace detective, wouldn't know what to do. I'd rather not think about that. 200 floors is just too much. The higher we climb, the stronger the enemy. We can't afford to be careless. Right now, it might be easier for us to act first, think later. Agreed. There's no point wasting time worrying about our next move. We're well over 200 floors high now. This tower won't suddenly snap off and collapse, will it? After we made it this far? I certainly hope not. We can't rely on common sense to plan ahead here, but we must proceed nevertheless. Sometimes you need luck to win a match, but obviously luck alone isn't enough. Man, luck's never on my side when I need it. Is anyone here afraid of heights? Fortunately, you can't see outside, so it shouldn't be a problem. It feels like those eyes are always following my every move. I can't get used to it. Huh? Now that we're so high up, I wonder if Koro-chan can tell if there's a change in atmospheric pressure. You know, we had some pretty rough times, but we made it this far. We did good, team. If I stare at these colors for too long, I feel like my eyes will get tired. 
Don't pay attention to them so much. You'll get used to them eventually. Oh god, I can still see the patterns even when I close my eyes. I hear someone named Santa flies all over the world in a single night. What terrifying efficiency. You got that right. That guy's real chill, though. Get it? Because it's winter? <laughs> oh, Junfei, you slay me. I wonder if Santa Claus can move around during the dark hour. It's pretty hard to act as if everything's normal, isn't it? I kind of wish I was at home relaxing underneath a kotatsu and eating some tangerines. We can't have just one person in the limelight. Not when this is a team effort. Did I hear that right? Junpei said something cool for once? You think we're in the upper half of the tower yet? <laughs> Maybe we could try sprinting to the top. I'm sure our classmates would find it hard to believe that we've been fighting here. Then it'd be better to keep them in the dark. That's the tough part about being a hero. Nobody gets what we're going through. I wish I could understand what Koro-chan's saying. Then we could keep chatting with each other. Yes. I will pass on Koromaru-san's words to everyone to the best of my ability. If you're ever in doubt, just take a deep breath. Only then will you find the way forward. Akihiko explains it all! <laughs> I bet a show like that would reap in the ratings, huh? Nothing about this place even remotely resembles a school at this point. You know what? Doesn't it kind of remind you of a karaoke booth? I mean, it never really looked like a school in the first place. The tower must use a lot of energy in order to shuffle every single floor. When we come here, we just need to focus on fighting. If we're taken out before the final battle, that'd be one sick joke. You're absolutely right. I'll keep that in mind, too. When I see something marked as limited edition, I'm always tempted to buy it. Dude, I've been getting a good workout, but why the heck do the stairs at the station still do me in? Maybe it's not your physical strength that's improved, but the strength of your heart. We've gone through so much to get this far. We can't stop here. My mission was simply to be by your side, but nowadays, I've been having fun at school as well. Sounds like you've settled in. You should enjoy your time as a student to the fullest. The number of people suffering from apathy syndrome seems to be increasing. I want to get as many nutrients as I can from my meals. Would supplements help with that? It's normal for your body to feel stiffer in cold weather. Make sure to warm up, just in case. It looks like we're inside a kaleidoscope. Only these colors are so vivid, they make me uncomfortable. I think he's saying we can rely on him. You're so kind, Koro-chan. I guess we just gotta tackle this head first. Like busting your ass on a test you didn't study for. That's not quite... Oh, never mind. I'm not trying to look at the scenery or anything, but it's just so distracting. I've gotten used to it by now, but for some reason I... I kinda wanna graffiti the walls. Just try to take it easy, Fuka. Even in times like this, Koromaru manages to stay so calm and collected. He's certainly one reliable dog. The one who's most put together might actually be Koro-chan. <coughs> Koro-chan's pure white fur gives him a proud, majestic image. I end up splurging a bit during winter. Knit tops and coats aren't cheap. Yukari-san, you're always so stylish. Clothes that are both cute and comfortable come with a hefty price tag, don't they? Am. If there's a gatekeeper, that means we still have a ways to go. You may be correct, but it is also a sign that we are making progress. Even now, enemies continue to block our path. The only way forward is to go through them. When this is all over, I'd like to go to karaoke and sing a song perfectly. <laughs> well, don't you sound confident? I can't wait to hear you sing. I think you could do it, I guess. If you hit the right notes and stay on beat, it's definitely possible. Even at a time like this, you still have tests and exams. High school sure sounds rough. Seriously, I can't concentrate in class like usual. Hey, what's with the funny look? We've cheated death a few times on our way here. Who knows what lies ahead? I bet this year is more intense for us than anyone else. You've covered so much ground exploring this place. I don't think I could ever do that. You just have to train a little bit every day, and you'll keep up with us in no time. Now that you mention it, my stamina's improved. But I still haven't lost weight. I can't stop here. I'll keep pressing forward, together with everyone else. 
I feel like the eye thing is watching me. It's really uncomfortable. Perhaps Tartarus itself is conscious. No, never mind. Let's not go there. It's so creepy. I always end up looking right back at it. I gotta calm down. I can keep going. What if I climbed all the way up here from the bottommost level? <laughs> That'd be one hell of a workout. Uh, you serious? That don't sound like a joke, senpai. No matter how much progress I make, I never feel satisfied enough to stop. I wonder if shadows gather in other places like this. Though I'd rather not entertain the thought, you have a point. We'll have to look into it eventually. If they do, maybe some of them go underground? <laughs> oh no! Koro-chan! Did you slip? Watch your step, okay? The first sunrise of the new year. It's the same sun as always, but this time, it looks a little different. The enemies are getting stronger, but so am I! Honestly, it's a real pain in the neck trying to count past 200 floors. If only there was a safe place for us to take a break. Like, some sort of safe room? Hmm, that'd certainly be convenient. If only there was a safe place for us to take a break. In other words, a safe room. It would be very beneficial. Right now, there's only one thing on my mind. And that is to fight to the very end, with all my strength. <laughs> you're so calm, Koro-chan. I think you're braver than anyone else here. The air's been so dry recently. My lips are all chapped. I gotta buy some lip balm. It seems impossible to climb to this height without a teleporter. You think so? I think I could give it a shot. Hmm. Does anyone know Koro-chan's Chinese zodiac? Was he born in the year of the dog? I'm not going to lose. No. I can't afford to lose. The shadows are a force to be reckoned with. But so are we. No matter how hard I try, I can't think of a single reason for the floors to be designed this way. Maybe there ain't one. He probably didn't think anyone would climb this thing. Perhaps it was designed without rhyme or reason. I guess people around the world aren't afraid because well, they don't know anything about this. Koro-chan, if you feel like going back, let our leader know, okay? Uh, even at a time like this, we could still feel hungry. Hmm, maybe I'll get a beef bowl at Umiyushi tomorrow. Oh, maybe we could leave some supplies at school to use later. Oh, wait, never mind. Considering what happened during your rescue, it'd probably be too tough to locate hidden supplies. It'd probably be faster to bring them with us. Looking for them later sounds way too hard. Koro-chan, are you cold? Well, I guess you can endure the cold better than hotter temperatures. In the end, I'm glad I got to speak with Ryoji-kun. In the beginning, this place still looked like a building, but now, I have no idea. It looks less and less realistic. I wonder if that's supposed to mean anything. If I had a little more arm strength, my spear attacks could be more powerful. There's no rush. You handle the spear so skillfully, it makes up for the lack of power. Koro-chan, you also have something you want to protect, don't you? Attending school at a time like this actually helps me stay sane. This area is strangely bright. It makes you forget that it's midnight, or rather the dark hour. Are shadows nocturnal? What do they do during the day? <laughs> Can't say I ever thought of that. Maybe they're sleeping. If only we could get the jump on them then. No matter how many we beat, more shadows just seem to pop out of nowhere. I thought there'd be less the further we go, but I guess not. This entire place is a nest from bottom up, huh? There's no sign of them dying out at all. I'm happy I got the chance to wear a kimono. Is it possible to modify one to wear in battle? You looked great, I guess, but I don't know about wearing one while fighting, though. Silk is both light and durable, but there'd be way too much air resistance, so probably not. Is it a little too late to ask if they could please install an elevator to the top? Do you think Shadows understand the concept of teamwork? I'd say it's possible, based on what we've seen with the large shadows. Who knows? Teamwork or not, they're all going down. Koro-chan might be the first dog to climb to the highest point in the world. My power will surely be of help to you. I truly do believe that. 
No matter what happens, I feel like I'll be fine as long as I'm with all of you. I feel the same way, too. We have to reach the top by the promised day. We'll pull it off somehow. What's up ahead is nothing like what we've experienced so far. Be ready for anything. What a bizarre floor. This is the first time I've seen anything like it. Well, if you think about it, aren't all the floors pretty bizarre? For a second, I thought this place was actually kind of pretty. Everything's all white. Man, it's totally different from the last area. I mean, it does look nice, but it feels kind of empty and really creepy. I said that I won't run anymore. I'll do my best till the very end. <coughs> Koro-chan, you understand everything that's going on, right? And do you still want to follow us? This place is stark white. It looks beautiful, but there's something eerie about it. I'm gonna stop thinking about stupid things. Like how we've got a heavy burden and all that. Are you watching, Father? This is the path I've chosen. This is my resolve. Everyone's so much stronger now. I know we can make it through this. <laughs> of course we can. And we'll come out of this even stronger. I'm glad I got stronger, but I could really do without all the extra muscle. The atmosphere on this floor is very unusual. The promised day, huh? All we can do now is keep moving forward. We'll overcome every single obstacle that stands in our way. This is like the final level in a video game, right? Well, don't forget to save before the big boss fight. It doesn't matter what's waiting for us. I'll take it down with my bare fists. My body seems to match with the scenery here. I think I might blend in with the background. Oh no. But as long as we can find you, Aichan. Oswell, that blends well. You get it? I can sense Koro-chan's determination. It really inspires me to do my part too. Huh? A floor that's entirely white. Koro-chan, be careful not to get lost. Whatever this is, it stands out even more against the white floor. Kinda like... blood. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. I stayed up too late playing a game yesterday. Good to see that you're the same as always. Real good. The flooring looks uneven, but that shouldn't be a problem during a fight. When I put on this combat gear, I get reminded of all the battles we've gone through. Huh. These patterns look a bit like the ones we saw at the Temple Gardens in Kyoto. You mean the Zen Gardens? There's a belief that they connect this world to the next. If possible, I want to visit Yakushima again. I'd like to see the ocean one more time. I want to come too! It sounds like a beautiful place. Yeah, sure, but... Can we all agree that what happens in Yakushima stays in Yakushima? To be honest, I'm still scared. But more than that, I really don't want to lose. I'm glad you're with us, Amada. Your presence is truly reassuring. There was a New Year's sale, so I bought some spring knitwear. I can't wait for winter to end. Hey, wouldn't it be neat if Yukatan and the others wore some elegant kimonos to fight? No way. A kimono's too confining. It'd be way too hard to fight in one. A kimono can easily fall apart if you move too recklessly. It'd be a difficult battle. When this is all over, shall we order some more sushi again? Oh, hell yeah, senpai! Now we gotta win for sure, leader! You better not spare any expense. We'll only have the high-quality stuff. Hmm. I'm sure there's some reason this area is shaped this way. This architectural style... I suppose you could call it... mysterious? It almost resembles heaven. Though, hell might be more fitting. It's so bright here. It's almost like it's daylight. But it's supposed to be midnight, it, the dark hour, right? Man, it's so whack. Yeah. Doesn't really feel like we're inside Tartarus. I've taken down many, many shadows. So much so, now I don't even blink tearing one apart. Uh, you sound a little scary right now, but, um, keep up the good work? <coughs> I wonder what this floor looks like from Korochan's perspective. An enemy that can't be defeated. I'm sure the old Yukari would have given up already. Looks like the scrubs around here are finally getting serious. Indeed. Let's destroy them with our full power. How is it so bright here? Where does the light come from? 
It also feels cold. Do you suppose it's the moonlight? Living together, traveling, and spending time together. I've made some fine memories this past year. Has everyone written their wish for the new year? I wished for some hope. I wonder what the top of this tower looks like. Well, we're about to find out. When we get there, I'll burn the site into my memory. I haven't a clue. But I'm certain we'll get there and find out for ourselves. Okay, this silence is killing me. How about we play a word association game? I'll start. Team. Leader, could you please tell him to... Hey, that doesn't count, okay? I'm not playing. And these shadows are quite the formidable foe. That just means we're getting close to our goal. Oh man, they're getting even stronger. Seriously, could they cut us some slack for once? I have a bad feeling about this block. I'm not sure why, but it seems more dangerous than the others. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. But that just means we're close to the end. In that case, we best proceed with caution. I think even Koro-chan can tell that there's something sad about this place. When there's something blocking the road ahead, you just gotta charge forward at full speed. Right now, let's keep our goal nice and simple. Get to the top. I've only gotten this far because I had all of you by my side. I'm sure of it. I wonder what he would say at a time like this. Who knows? But he was the kind of guy who'd aim for the top no matter what anyone says. I can't believe we're almost third years. Feels like we've grown up too quickly. Hey now, what's with that attitude? We're still young and free, you know? So much happened during my three years of high school. Everything went by in a flash. <sighs> this place is so empty, at least as far as I can see. Perhaps it's foreshadowing the end of everything. We've come so far. Looks like we were right to appoint you as our leader. This will be our final stand. It's going to be an intense battle, but we can't turn back now. One year ago today, I could never imagine we'd be where we are now. What was I even doing back then? Probably had more free time than I do now, that's for sure. It's nearly been an entire year since you guys came. Time really flies. If only our tests were all about beating up shadows, I'd pass with flying colors. Are you sure about that? You're pretty bad at written exams. If heaven really does exist, would it be a place like this? No, I get that this place looks the part, but God, please, no. We won't find out. Not today. It's not our time yet. We're going to make it out alive. Our goal is finally in sight. Now, more than ever, we can't waste any more time. Did your collar get loose? Koro-chan, let's make sure you're in perfect condition, okay? We should be properly equipped for what lies ahead. I'll leave it to you. I'm not really phased by it anymore. But dude, isn't this place insane? If we fall from here, it will all be over. I've got my training regimen planned out for the next six months. It'll be intense. That definitely seems like something you'd do, senpai. I should think about my own plans, too. Can I join you? I want to get stronger, too! Once this battle is over, I wouldn't mind another trip to Yakushima with everyone. Yeah, that'd be great. We had a lot of fun last time. Oh, sounds like a plan. Count me in. After the battle ends, I wonder if we'll view the moon any differently. Well, only one way to find out. Once we wrap up here, let's all go moon watching together. Everyone sure looked nice in their kimonos. Maybe I should wear one next year, too. I'm sure you'll look great, Amada-kun. I can't wait to see what you've picked out. That means you won't be wearing any... Uh, it's nothing. Never mind. There's no doubt that Koro-chan is our guardian angel. We're long past the 200th floor by now. The least they could do is set up a convenience store for us. I'll take on all the powerful foes. The tougher they are, the stronger I'll become. This path doesn't look the safest, but it shouldn't be a problem, I think. My legs are shaking right now, but I have to keep going. I trust you, Fuka. I really do. But I think I'm a crap in my pants. I want to go to Yakushima for our next summer vacation, too! Oh, good idea! Operation Yakushima Beach Fling Round 2 is on! You'll help us out, won't you? I want to go to Yakushima for our next summer vacation, too! Let's make that happen, then, with everyone here. The 241st floor. Were this a normal building, it would probably be about a thousand meters tall. Oh, man, I really didn't need to hear that! Now I'm feeling weak in the knees! 
I don't know the exact height, but we certainly are high up. If you think about it, perhaps the shadows are on a mission just like us. <sighs> that deadline makes me anxious, but I just have to do what I have to do. Ugh, looking down is making me sweat. And you don't want to know where. The date of the final battle is set. All we have to do now is be at our peak by then. What part of the school do you think this is? The roof? <laughs> Pretend this is one of your usual strolls and just relax, okay? <laughs> Let's take a group photo to commemorate... Oh, wait. Cameras don't work here. Staring at a white background like this is real hard on the eyes. Seriously. I should have brought sunglasses or something. Do you suppose the scenery here serves some kind of purpose? I want to face tomorrow with everyone, together. That's why I'll fight with all my strength. Koro-chan is totally at ease, even though he's in unfamiliar territory. He's really amazing. We've been getting stronger, but I know we haven't hit our limits yet. Does anyone need to take a break? We're really high up now. It'd be a dangerous fall, even for me. Okay, but at least you can fly out of danger with those rocket boosters of yours, Hai-chan. If you're in trouble, I guess, what does that mean for us? Uh, I'm just not gonna think about that. I'm sure the priest is also cheering you on, Koro-chan. Man, I didn't even have time to let loose and relax this new year. No amount of rigorous training can prepare you for an actual battle, after all. Didn't get a chance to clean my room before the end of the year. Oh well, maybe next year. The walls here are blindingly bright. It's unbearable when light reflects off of them. Is anyone cold? The white walls gave me the impression that it's cool up there. I'm not, but maybe that's because I'm so fired up. It is a bit chilly, but there are more important things to worry about. Nobody knows for sure what's wrong or right. Maybe that's why people are anxious about the future. I can't accept that you'll find salvation in death. Hey, aren't we like a party of brave heroes about to throw down with the Demon King? Things are going smoothly. All that's left is to wait for the big match to start. There's not much time left to spare. We can't afford to stop here. Koromaru's name is written with the characters for Tiger and Wolf. Huh. Isn't it the year of the tiger now? This place is so well lit. It's a lot easier to spot the shadows. Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. And with all of us together, we will be even stronger. My body is trembling. Am I malfunctioning? No. It must be my heart trembling inside my chest. No matter how much I train, I still get nervous. Maybe it's like having test anxiety? Don't let your nerves get to you. And then again, you've never had that problem. Hmm. Maybe... This is what the world will look like in the distant future? Ah, huh, I can see that. It does kind of feel like we're inside a UFO or something. Ah, oh, maybe. It does look like we should be running into aliens instead of shadows. These days, I don't really care about what other people think of me anymore. I see. You're really something, you know? <laughs> what do you smell there? Is it different from the other scents we've encountered so far? We should totally have a girls' night soon. We'll stay up all night snacking and chatting. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I'll make sure to bring a bunch of snacks. <laughs> sounds like it'll be a long night. I'll have to free up my schedule for the next day. Man, I really want to go to karaoke. Since it's quiet here, mind if I practice for a bit? Sounds like a good way to keep the shadows at bay, but at the cost of our hearing. With how bright this area is, it might be easier to spot shadows. Then maybe it's time for us to go on the offensive. Yep, they stick out like a sore thumb. Time to hammer them down. Well, aren't you raring to go, Kuro-chan? It's as if he's saying, now's the time. Lately, I haven't found any new material for Junpei's Believe It or Don't. Please keep it that way. Besides, aren't ghost stories usually told during summer? As long as I'm wearing this armband, nothing can bring me down. The 250th floor. I believe we may be close to the end. If we all become third years, I hope we can all be in the same class again. Wait, did you say if, 
not win? Uh, are you saying I'm being held back? <laughs> I'd like that too. We'll definitely become third years. All five of us. Last night, I saw my mom in my dreams. That's all to it, really. They're all watching over us from somewhere. Knowing that, I feel like I can go on. I don't have any proof, but we're getting close. I can feel it. Nothing can stop us now. If only we had a functioning car here. Then we could just run over any shadow we see. There's someone else here watching over us. Do you feel his presence, Akihiko? I think he's saying we're not too far from the top. All of us will follow your lead, no matter what decision you make. My body feels even lighter than usual. If you tag me in, I promise you won't regret it. We've reached the 252nd floor. That's higher than any building in the real world. It's ironic. I've learned so much about what it means to live by fighting the shadows. If we all work together, we can definitely win against an undefeatable enemy. <laughs> You're right. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. <laughs> I think so too. Let's win this together. It's probably a little late to ask this, but why do folks transmogrify in a coffins of all things? I won't lose sight of my goals ever again. I'm keeping my eyes trained on the top. We're so close to the end. Just thinking about it makes me nervous. I feel the same way, but we'll be able to pull through. I'm sure we can. <laughs> you know, you're just like the rest of us, Aichan. Right. This is where the real battle begins. Kuro-chan, you're so reliable. Now that we've made it this far, we've got to see this through. I think I understand why I awaken to this power now, and what it means. Dang, we're already past the 250th floor. Do you reckon it goes up to 300? I know this is an awful, terrible place, but this area is somewhat beautiful. Just now, I finally realized I have my own way of fighting. The end is near, and we're going to win, of course. Do you have any plans in February yet? Valentine's Day waits for no man. Koro-chan, you've become much, much stronger than when we first met you. This whole time I've been a nervous wreck. But strangely enough, I feel really calm right now. Oh crap! I think I left the TV on in my room! Why are you like this? You better turn it off when you get back. <laughs> it makes me happy to see that Junpei-kun hasn't changed at all. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared, but that changes nothing. We're here all the same. January 31st. Had we more time, we could have been better prepared. <laughs> Getting cold feet? We just have to do what we can. If we fail, nobody will live to see tomorrow. Tonight, we have to prevail. Everyone, expect to fight till the bitter end tonight, but know that we'll make it out alive. Fight to the bitter end, huh? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Fight to the bitter end? Sounds kind of cheesy, but I'm with you. We have to keep going. Her future is at stake. Don't worry about me. I'm no longer lost. I know what I have to do. I will never forget this journey, nor the friends I've made. It's kind of sad when people can't see eye to eye, isn't it? That Jin guy. I know he was our enemy and all, but... I can't help feeling kind of bad about it. I feel sorry for him. But I'm sure he stood by his convictions to the very end. He was a victim as well, just like everyone else. We must keep that in mind. This time for sure. We'll put an end to Tartarus and the Dark Hour. Hmm. It's really sad when you can understand someone else's words, but not their feelings. We're so close! With all of us together, we'll be able to pull through. You got that right. Let's end this. Yeah, exactly. That's why we all came here. Just keep your eyes on me. I ain't gonna lose. Back then, I swore that I would face things head on. Watch me, Shinji. This is the 261st floor. We're almost at the top. Whatever happens, I'll never forget the promise I made. We'll all come home together, for sure. I promise you too, Koro-chan. We'll all go home together. This is it. We're gonna make it out alive. All of us. Together. 
I'll do everything I can to support everyone. We will, I promise. Yukari, we're counting on you. All right, look alive, folks. Just follow my lead. So this is where it ends. No. This is the battle we'll keep fighting till the end. So, there was still a score we had to settle. In the end, heroes will always win. Let's do this! You can do it, Kurochan. We're all with you. I don't need any salvation. I'll crush that false hope with my own two hands. Oh, hey. Looks like you're the only guy on the team tonight. I see. So this is what you would call a harem, correct? According to my data, every single man in the world fantasizes of having one. Wait, is that what you're angling for? Well, ulterior motives aside, I've no problems. After all, this team is strategically sound. Oh, hey! What's up, Class 2F? Let's get it. We're gonna show them third years what we've got. No holding back now! Junpei-san's motivation is growing exponentially. That is very inspiring. That's right! We can't let our senpais have all the glory. Let's show them what we're made of! Seriously? Only us dudes tonight? Great. Just great. What's up? Is there a problem with that? Uh, no, but, uh, there's just nobody here to, you know, soothe the soul. I could bring Koromaru with us. Maybe petting him will help. Look, Koromaru's great and all, but that's not what I'm getting at. Reminds me of the days we used to fight back to back. Right, Shinji? <laughs> could you stop dredging up the past? It's distracting. <sighs> the three of us teaming up again certainly brings back memories. Tell me about it. Those days... We just kept fighting and fighting day after day. All I remember is Aki getting too worked up and rushing into danger on his own. <laughs> that sounds about right. I might be a kid, but I'll catch up to all of you in no time. <coughs> I think Koromaru's saying he feels the same way. Let's get stronger together, Koromaru. <coughs> it's kind of weird to be all alone together in a place like this. Actually, yeah, this might be pretty bad. I know this is serious business, but I can't help smiling around you. What is it? Did you need something? <sighs> uh, oh, it's nothing. Please don't mind me. I'm just a little nervous about, um, about how we're all alone together. When I think of being alone with you, I feel like, like I'm in pain. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it's as if my chest is swelling. Maybe... This is what it feels like when your heart's a flutter. Uh, uh, um, is it just me, or does it feel kind of awkward tonight? <laughs>